And now the latest software news for DJs. Good news for users of Denon's Engine Prime software, especially Mac users. As of version 1.3.4, the app is officially Catalina compatible. So if you've updated to the latest version of Mac OS, you should be covered. Now, just as with any other major OS update, Many DJs have been sort of hesitant to update to Catalina for fear that it'll mess up their music libraries or that their DJ software will just stop working. And perhaps rightfully so, I've been bitten by this before. I performed an OS update on a laptop which my gig on that evening relied on, and I learned that lesson really quick. Never make a major change before a gig. I was left with a library I couldn't access. And if you've ever had a similar experience, please share it in the comments. Anyway, they've also brought support for the Apple Music app, that is the artist formerly known as iTunes. If you use that to maintain your digital music library, that integration is now supported. And the same can be said of Tractor Pro. As of the 3.3.0 release, comprehensive iTunes integration is featured, but they also made several other additions, such as plug-and-play integration of the XDJ1000 Mark II and XDJ700, support of that new Pioneer DJM V10 mixer uh, that we just produced a video of not too long ago, including automatic configuration of the inputs and outputs, and uh, custom overmapping of the Control S3. They also made several bug fixes, including a volume problem where your headroom setting wasn't properly applied to the preview deck, uh, a problem where scratch control decks would lose sync, and uh, a lot of other bug fixes. Now moving over to streaming news, SoundCloud announced last month that it received a $75 million investment from Sirius XM. If you've been following Passionate DJ for a while, you've heard us talk many times about SoundCloud struggles over the past few years. But the brand actually saw a strong performance in 2019, with revenue turning over $200 million. Now that's in contrast to 2018, which brought in about half that. Now Carrie Trainer, the SoundCloud CEO, says, we have an exciting roadmap focused on deepening the connections between creators and listeners that fuel creator discovery, career growth, and the evolution of music culture. The company says that this new investment will accelerate its product development and enhance its services. Now, as it turns out, SoundCloud merged their advertising relationship in some way with Pandora, which also happens to be owned by SiriusXM. Now, as it turns out, this was the right move for the company, as they saw SoundCloud's ad revenue grow by over 37%. That being said, we aim our final sights on Spotify. The streaming giant is now enabling a sort of pay-to-play scheme, which involves record labels and artists giving money to advertise their songs within its app. This is a complicated move for the company, which is already kind of having wider talks over long-term music rights within record companies. According to the original report posted by Bloomberg, Spotify is, quote, under pressure from investors to boost advertising sales and prove that it can turn a profit. While Spotify's main streaming business generated $6.1 billion in sales last year, the company loses money because most of its revenue goes right back into the music industry in the form of royalties. Boosting ad sales has been a struggle. Spotify has more than 270 million total users, but its advertising business trails competitors of similar size. The company generated just $678 million in such revenue last year, which is less than what Twitter Inc. takes in every quarter. 